Virgo, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. I'm Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Virgo, it's time to free yourself. What do I mean by that? Virgo, it's time to free yourself. I've just dropped that deck, so that's not the one we're using. Sorry, Virgo. I'll just pick them all up because I'm sure I'll go to use them at some point during this reading. Yeah, I've got a right red face now because I've been upside down. Okay, let's pop these here. All right, there we go. Time to free yourself. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. I only book private readings via my website. You have to come to me, so click that. Click that link right there. That's the only way to get to me. Not to get to me, but to get a reading. Oh, wow. If I come to you in any other way, that's not me. I'm never going to come to you in any other way. You have to come to my website. That's the only legit way of getting everything by moi. All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Virgo, free yourself. What do we mean by this? Okay, it's time to free yourself, my love. Tell me more in this. It's not been fair, whatever's been going on. It's it's been a very one sided, uneven situation. Someone who you believed in as well. Tell me more. Someone who you felt. Oh, this is hard. It's really hard because I feel like you you really looked up to this person. I'm going to get some protection crystals here. This is kind of emotional here. You really looked up to this person. But it's not going to work. There's too much, too much conflict. Why? Yeah. Because you're your own person, you know, and that's that's difficult for them. This person is used to, I don't know, anyone who is in their life completely succumbing to them and, and that's not who you are. You need your own space, you need your own life. You need to flourish and grow and, and this person stifles that in you. You want to be free. You want to be yourself. It took you a while to get to this realization. It, it kind of came on slowly, like, mm, I'm not happy and I don't know why. <laughs> Everything seems fine. Why am I desperately unhappy? I can't see why it is. Oh, it's because I'm completely being stifled by this person that you really look up to. I think maybe at a time in your life where you were very vulnerable, they came in and they did sweep you off your feet and, and make it all safe and make you all happy when you needed that. But now you've found yourself and, and who you are, regardless of anybody else. And this is difficult for them. And to you now, it seems like it's not fair. Well, justice in reverse. It's not fair to be treated like that. 
just this in reverse can also mean the end of a relationship, a divorce, ending of a contract. But I'm seeing it as it's it's not fair to be treated like that anymore. But this is all this person knows. They want complete control. I think they're trying to make you meet a goalpost that you're not ready to meet in your life. So maybe it could be they're sort of forcing you into having a family. Like, I'm, I'm ready for us to have kids. And you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm 20. <laughs> you know, it, it's like you are you don't feel like you're at that point where you're ready. You're ready to go out on your own. And, and, and this person sort of helped you get through a difficult time in your life. You're not, you don't have to be 20 for this to resonate with you. It's just me dealing out sarky comments. You could feel like you're not ready for that. It's, it's just a for instance, you know. They're trying to push you into things that you're not ready for because they're in control. Like, that's, that, that's what they know. I, I've decided we're going this way, so that we're going this way. And it makes them very unhappy to uh, have obstacles in the way because they they know what they want and they go and you're like it was nice for a while and you looked after me and you helped me find myself but i found myself and i don't need you to keep pushing me along that path i'd like i, I, I want to go that way that way looks good to me so it it, it kind of looks like You've found your independence and it feels good and you want that. Anything else Virgo needs to know right now? It's, yeah, like with strength here. And this came out in the last reading. I, I, I see you as the lion. I, oh, did I just do Taurus? I see you as the lion here. And them as the one who's kind of trying to force your mouth open and say, look, I'm in charge here. I'm, I'm, I'm opening your mouth and you're going to deal with it. And you're like this lion. It's just like, you, what do you want me freaking do? You're going to put your head in my mouth and just, are you crazy? Bite your freaking head off. It's hard because I feel like you actually really look up to this person. But they're pushing you too far now. And I think it's, it, it's heartbreaking to you because you look up to them, but you need your own space and you need your own life. So, so, you know, got that vibe going on there. This is sort of saying, trust your gut. Your gut's saying leave. You, but you're you gonna free yourself. You're gonna walk away from this. You are. This is you. You're very independent now. You don't need such firm guidance so what's coming up in the near future the summer of earth not like it. it's that's the, the sad feeling the, can, the kids are coming up uh, i can't give you what i want is what i'm hearing I can't give you what you want. I it's not my time. I'm not ready for that. That's your goalpost. That's your desire. That's your dreams. It's not mine. I that's your path. This is mine. We have to go separate ways. That's kind of what you're feeling. But also at the same time, you're sad because you love this person. It's just you know that you don't need such a I don't know. It's like they're very heavy handed with you. They they want you, they're very controlling, very authoritative and controlling. They want you to go in their direction. And if you don't, they're uh, kind of unpleasant about it. And I just see you saying, well, you know, I'm, I'm, 
I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna do what I have to do. And this is you, best you can hope for, kind of taking a little bit of time out there and going, all right, I'm gonna have a rest. I'm gonna think about this. I'm gonna meditate on it and see where I really wanna go. And I feel like you're cutting off love here. Thing is, you're gonna do that and you're gonna step away from love. They're going to be like, oh, really? You're going to do that? Well, I'm going to bonk everything in the near vicinity that will be shagged. I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go there and do that. And, and no, no. Make you jealous. You're going to feel bad. You're going to come back. It's tough because, you know, I think that you still love this person, but you are grown up enough to realise that you kind of have to live your own life and... That's going to be hard for you. It's going to be difficult to let them go. And that's the outcome is really you you having a tough time letting them go. But also, they're going to have a tough time seeing you move on. Probably going to get knocking on your door at three o'clock in the morning. Who are you with? Anyway, I'm not actually, I actually just want to be on my own. <laughs> just... Not with someone else. Oh, they let me in. No, go to go to bed. Just not my bed. Mm -hmm. Do my own thing now. Go away. Outcome. Outcome's tough. It's tough because you're seeing them move on very quickly, but they're not moving on. They're just screwing other people. It's got nothing to do with moving on. They're just beating their chest or whatever girls do in that situation. Guys beat their chest. What will girls do? They strut their stuff they just it's it's just their ego needs to be stroked because they need to be in control and you leaving is you being in control and that's difficult for them why is the three of pentacles here I think eventually it's going to make a lot of sense to both of you. They'll come around and see that the decisions you made were for the right reasons. I just, I think you really look up to this person. So I feel like it's going to be very difficult for you when they start acting up and trying to get your attention by sleeping around. <laughs> It's going to be difficult for you. And I think that's going to slightly knock them off their pedestal. I think you're making a really grown up decision and I admire it. To be honest. All right. I'm going to take it to the ex into the extended now. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask about this person. How they feel about you. Uh, what their intentions towards you, what they want to say to you, but I sort of feel like I kind of want to ask some guidance from the universe for you, for for your direction and where you where you're heading. Uh, a little bit of guidance for you along your path now. It looks a little looks looks pretty grown up out there, and I'm very impressed. So let's let's get some advice from the universe, but let's quickly pull you an oracle card. A bit more advice from the oracles. Confidence is your key to success. Yeah, a very very much so because stepping out there in the world on your own takes confidence. This person's kind of done everything for you for a while. The end of a tough cycle approaches. All right. Let's pull you finally your love lyric. 
What is Virgo's love lyric? The name Stephanie just came into my head. Let me know if that resonates. Arctic monkeys, do I want to know? If the feeling flows both ways, that sea go. Sort of hoping that you'd stay. All right. If you want to watch Extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find a link there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you guys later.